welcome back to some more monster train action we are doing my extra high shard some people seem to like it so why not continue it for at least another full rotation of the 12 starters so if you haven't seen these before just in case we are doing my normal high shard shenanigans of just kind of taking shards because they're there you take them and pairing it up with the hero's burden mutator 15 shards after every battle and we're just gonna do rotating random so we're gonna be some hornbreaker prince um hellhorned is strong some strong cards you do of course need your strong scaling rage cards and your strong defensive days cards or good allied clan so you don't die in the mid game though uh so let's dip heart see what we get see what we get we get welder helpers we get march of shields we get perils of production i like this um we're against darkness incarnate and seraph the patient daedalus the pinger all right let's get a uh, going and we see wrathful because a reaper is just look at that six health this is like Tethys level health. That's just going to die to everything. Right, so we take Wrathful because we can gain the defense, which is good. And ooh, Fossilized Fangs. Well, we see Hellhorn Banner uh, on that steel, so I don't think we need to go Fangs. So we're going to take the Improved Firebox because that's just a good starting card. Mark of Invasion is fine. Let's go ahead and just get that double ping going. Right, we're going to gain more armor than we lose here. We're going to ping one of these. That way, if I get a uh, plink, I can take out two of them and still get an armor kill. Exactly, just like I wanted. The only downside is I want to paint that unit to get it out of here. Let's just lose a train steward. All right. Good plink. An amazing plink. Wow. We are just doing really well on those. Um, I'm going to give you a bunch of armor, right? That takes out two of them. Once again, setting up the perfect plink plus armor play. This is uh, turning out really nicely. Um, we can just let both of these die. That's right, we put four into the boss. Are we going to kill any of these? The answer is we'll kill one. The reason I am not going to plink or pink them out, because, I mean, that's one damage they deal to me, and I get so much rage and armor off of that in return. So we're just going to keep it, see? They give me more rage and armor than I would be taking. Uh, so we, we just let those live. And then we see, wow, Fledgling Imp for rage, Hornbreak for damage, but we snap this tiresome climb because that's ridiculous, and we take a backup Prismal Dust? Do I take the backup Prismal Dust? Yes. Both great intrinsic targets, by the way, because I do have the improved fighter box. All right, Merchant of Steel shows me quick and some health. Health is always great. We love a rail beater. Um, quick is not good into patient. But oh, since we are starting with haha, <laughs> the 40 health already, we are just going to greed for the multi-strike. Let's go ahead and minus two our tiresome climb. Amazing. We're going to start getting rid of planks because pass round these early rings, they are junkier. Um, I'm going to do Train Steward into Train Steward. I'm going to leave the Imp open for a later infusion. Maybe I get Transcend up. Maybe I get some other good Imps. Who knows? All right. I guess we could theoretically play bottom. That would be 10. Oh, no, 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 because of the sap. The sap is annoying. Because um, that's three sap, so that's four. Eight, that's 12. 30. No, 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 no. That's not enough. That's not enough. 
So I'm gonna drop you middle. Just drop you to top. And um I think we just kinda get rid of stuff. So the downside of a lot of things. We don't need to redraw that one. I mean we probably won't anyways. Yeah, we, so we take a lot of damage. Oof. If we get something a little bit better, we don't. Sad. We want to ping out you. Link is good. Link is a damage shield. Drop a train steward. Ow. Ow. Down to three. Oofed. Why do you have so much... So much damage. We're just going to double torch. Of course, I bottom deck... Tire some climb, it's fine. Let's give you a little bit of rage. And look at that, we barely squeak in at three health. That's fine. Alright, um, we're just gonna take the vent because that's a great spell chain target. Don't think I need another prismal dust. We are definitely taking this health though. Whew. Endless on a Walder Helper is fine for now. Large Stone, no. You can just take three damage shield. That's actually really good into Patient. And then... Man, there's a Drop Cage. Actually, we want the Drop Cage. Uh, because we have Tiresome Climb. Two days to four days is wonderful. Uh, we can trade this Pyre Health. I doubt I will get 20, but I don't know. Well then, 20 Pyre Health for a Shadow Box. Hopefully nothing comes up. We're just going to start dropping units. We're going to see if we get some good Plinks. That's not a bad one. Um, just sacrifice that. The moment we're doing well enough to get through things. We can actually just send you up with days. Plink gets me something good. Oh, Plink's gonna eat a hit there. We're just gonna double torch this guy. Oof, the spikes. The spikes. Let's get some damage in. Let's just clear out this floor a little bit. Oh, look. There's my endless amp. Thanks. Um, and there is a death. We can't have a death. That would kill me. Hmm. Is there any way to get around that? Don't think so. Right. Ugh. The folly I have made. You don't have damage scaling besides perils of production. Um, which means that single high damage wave can kill me. Um, which is just utterly ridiculous when you think about it. Let's get rid of that. Alright. Can we separate those two from each other? Probably. We're going to take that one because it is more damage. Um... Now, if I do this, that's coming up with 16 next turn, 16, and then uh, that's 48, so that would take out one. 
I think I have to do this to survive. Which is really sad. Because that's going to go up two days. I take one. All right. Let's just pling, or ping those out. All right, let's put some armor down. Let's put some more armor down. You can put this down, we're gonna pink out. Let's plink, plink is great, gives me more attack. Whew, we get the armor. I don't know if it's gonna be enough. He's doing 14, 17 damage around and I'm only doing much less than that. Um, let's get the rage and then I just guess we vent for 12. All right, if we rage you, we get very slightly more damage. If we drop this, we only get a... Yeah, we don't have any scaling damage here. So I think we're, I'm just going to call this one right now. We're going to abandon. We have no scaling. That was bad. Um, run summary. Yeah. No scaling damage to get through. I don't think that was going to pay off. Uh, the shadow box. Oof. What a horrible relic to get there. All right. Bad start. Bad start. Let's try that again. This time we are with Stygian. and we see Tyrus and Klein, Tyrus and Red. We're really looking at these climbs and the damage that would house them powered, Darkest Failure Incarnate, Surf the Temperant. Alright. Once again, Reaper is just like at this level of defense. Love a split anvil though. And you know what? Let's take the early capricious reflection. Cause it's fun, and I do enjoy my fun. All right. Well, we drop this. We're just going to uh, blast you out. Oh no! My, I miscounted. Um. Train steward, train steward, train steward. Just get them all out. gonna double torch we're gonna send you up because that's gonna give me it health in total we just blast you for a lot thirty one means we're taking sixty seven coming up that's four attacks so eighteen twenty four we survived right yeah. As long as we survive, I continue. Definitely could have been better. We'll take the Ritual of Battle this time with a minus one. And wow. None of those. All right, come on. Banner, give me something good. Ooh, there's another multi-strike. Endless Steel Worker. It is something, right? 30 magic power, let's just make it strong. Titan's Gratitude, Intrinsic. Um, let's tire some climb with Intrinsic. Because that's going to give me some uh, good survivability early on. Plus, of course, got to remember my split anvil. Mark of Invasion, woo! I mean, I can kill three round one anyways, so I'm not worried here. So we drop you and you. We're gonna send one of these up with days and take out two more of them. Yeah. I can take out three units around. Um, I 
think we send that up and that up. Uh oh. Do I perish? No, I do not. Kinda close though. Um Currently we're what doing? 48. Alright. 33, 43, 53. There's another five. That's going to take me out though. Man! Oof. Alright, let's try this again. We are going to drop these two. Um, we're going to, once again, raise one of these up. Take out one. And we're actually going to ping that guy in the back this time. Alright. So we take out that floor. We are going to send it up and take out one more. So we take out all three. I'm sure we don't get the money, but that's fine. Um, we big blast here. Torch, small blast, and we get the kill. Alright. Let's send you up for the free damage. Uh, the free, should I say, scaling. And we will drop a train steward. Torch, ping, 25. I mean, if we drop the 175, we get the kill. Even if we don't, we still have the kill. Alright. Missing the gold is harsh. Multi-strike, Welder Helper. No, we take another Ritual Battle. Um, wow, these crystals. What? Give me better, get better picks, please. Where's my offering cards? All right, it's fine. Um, oh, these are all strong, but I think we just take the Divine Advanced Wind prototype. Um, could go health, but I think we want the banner. And we just put a steel worker into steel worker. Yeah. There we go. We put a minus two into a ritual battle because we want that to be strong. Let's just make that a giant piercing effect. We see an endless. We don't need a unit with endless. Copyified card. <laughs> Duplicate the ritual battle five times as an I win button. All right, now we just need to start purging stuff, right? So we want to aggressively purge this deck down, I think. So we're gonna buy two of them right away. We just gained a lot of cards, but they are strong cards. Armor on Slay. On the bright side, we just send you up round one. Look at that, 290 armor. Wow, 145 shards, let's be fair. But 290 armor? This is a 1,000 health enemy on ring 3. That's ridiculous. Um, let's just start working on taking those out. Let's see if I can save those train stewards for something a little better. Let's get a rage. Let's pink here and uh, hit there. Rage, rage, awesome ping. And let's just torch things away from us. Torch, yay. Um, let's separate out these two units so I can gain some armor. Rage, ooh, this is a tougher call though. I could send days two, that means it gets days one. I don't think that's the correct call. Um, I think the correct call is going to be ritual. Send up the tank and blast the boss for 225. 
All right, rage, rage, drop the train steward. Train steward, yeah, see, this is why the bind advanced prototypes kind of an I win button a lot of times. Um, if you save your train stewards, as long as you're not facing spike data, like I was last time, especially, then it's just, ah, 225 damage into the boss. Yes, please. Alrighty, um, blast, blast, blast. Cool. Let's take the Siren Song. That's awesome. Look at Eel Gorgon, but no thank you. I just want to dupe and overstack my floor with steel workers if I can. I um, also want to purge cards. Do I dupe now? Where's my next dupe otherwise? Right before the boss. That's not a horrible dupe. I think I could get benefits from Artifact and the Purge more at the moment. Extra Rage, thank you. Ooh, Volatile Gauge, actually. I should have considered that Volatile Gauge so much. These six rituals all would always be zero. Anyway, Spell Chain. Um, let's just Spell Chain the Siren Song. Yeah. Purge out a Frozen Lance. Let's just staple two Train Stewards together. Gather once again. Now we aggressively purge out these last two frozen lances. And we say, okay, we get a better Wrathful. I'll probably want to spread out my rage a little bit. So my dude can get kills as well. Maybe? Probably. Alright, um. We're going to take one of those out. We send you up with the day so I don't get junk. Alright. Rage. Rage. Ah, man. Um, I don't want to take your damage. We're going to ping once. And then I guess drop a train steward. I mean, that's a lot of damage there, right? 154. Um, darn, that's 130. Not enough to kill both of these. I was hoping I could uh, send one out, but no. So what else? Uh, we're just going to send you up then, right? And we'll ping you and that. I was really hoping I would have enough damage to send up the big guy, take out the backliner there. I do not. Um, torch, torch. Yeah, see, we take a lot of damage there. We get double junk, you jerks. I mean, we get more rage. Junk, junk, blast the front guy. Awesome. I don't want to take the damage, so not a good Pyre Song turn. Alright. We can give the backliner rage so we can get the damage through. Then we keep your rage up and we send one of those up for some nice easy armor. Whew. Junk, junk, big rage, torch. Rage, rage, get rid of that. Oh, torch, 25. Yeah, we need two of those steel workers. That's for sure. Ooh. Ooh. Large pyre chomper. Um, Impish Scholar, do you give me anything? You don't actually give me anything right now, which is the sad thing. So we're going to take the Pyre Chomper, I guess. Maybe armor, maybe. Um, we need to start duping our armor and hire some climbs, maybe. Yeah. Hmm. Money. All right, Holdover, minus one. Holdover is actually really good. Let's purge out... A torch, because I can just play train stewards for one, that's fine. 
All right, we're going to hold over this tiresome climb. I'm going to put a minus one in the ritual battle. Let's consume out a different torch. Let's make that torch free. Let's consume out another torch. We're just going to try to get down to basically having just a rage generation as my goal. All days are stealth two, which means they're not ideal to set up. I mean, we can do that so they go up and dies to the front. Yeah, oof. Alrighty. I'll rage. Um, I want to finally get some armor going. Rage, rage. We send one up. Let's start working on one of these guys and take out that front tank. Because I Ideally, we want to gain damage, right? Um, let's send up. So you'll take out the first one. You'll take out the next. That doesn't actually help me. Oh, none of these actually help me. That's not cool. Well, we can send up one of these and we can send up the next one next turn. Or send it up again next turn, right? Yeah. Go Pyre Chomper. We send you up. Um, we can actually send up another one. Days the floor twice. Awesome. And just take that guy out. Not armor into you, but I think we're going to be fine. Rage, rage, rage. Um, send you up. Ha! All right, rage, rage. Do we take the one and four? Nah. Yeah, we just get an easy kill though. Right, so we have so much damage scaling. We just need to uh, kill units. The Imper Scholar's there, but I think we take the Imp in a box because it's funny. Ooh, unnamed Tome is also really good. So we take that. Now we definitely want our dupes though. Free units, amazing. Um, we're not really Kinstone Totem territory. Or Cheater's Hand. I mean, we could just gain 13 health. I think that's fine. We're gonna dupe the Steelworker. And honestly, my floor is gonna be better with two Steelworkers on it, I think. And then just kind of passing out the rage between them. So we're just going to drop you two mid, you up top. And uh, be sad. Now we can send that up, it's fine. Alright, we get two of these. We're gonna rage the back one first. Um, let's go ahead and drop this days and send one of those up. Definitely just gonna get that again, of course. Game, you're a jerk. Let's send. Are you up? 
this of that up. Um, more rage. At least we get the real. We do drop our day's effect, which is annoying. What a jerk. Infinite Box shows me. Sure, Ember Imp. Damage Imp. Um, we're just going to put all the rage in this back unit. And if we want to buy a round, I think we kill off that one. Awesome. Get our rage going. We're going to just, uh, doesn't matter. And I don't know. Ping one of those. All right, now if I could get the damage back, please. No, it's okay. I'm just gonna send torches into you and blast one of these so we can get a little bit of damage into the boss. Man, how much health are you gonna come in with is the question. Game, you're mean. Three cross, here's some climb on that. Ugh. All right, Emma the Box shows me double welder. Cool. Rage, rage. We're just gonna torch that out. It doesn't matter if those cost more. All right, rage, rage, rage. Silence to spare myself one more damage. 60 damage coming through, oof. Well, that's only a little bit, right? Let's get a little damage in. You know what? Send you up. That one extra damage is going to help carry me, I'm sure. Easy. Not a worry. Not a worry. All right. Double rage, awesome, love it. Plus one draw, because we want to get through all of our rages as quick as possible. And we definitely go Merchant of Trinkets. Shows us a lightstone casing, ooh. That could be useful. 30 magic power and a pierce on another Titan's Gratitude. Get a double tank buster, I like that. Uh, what does Concealed Caverns have for us? Build a card. Ooh, do we take defense, offense? Let's do a defensive one. Sap, damage, and a card draw. Yes. All right. Uh, I think we take the faulty loader for a turn by, and we love an iron drop cage. Yes, we do. Look at all that days I have now. Thank you, game. Um. Goodbye, Torch. Goodbye, Torch. And then just more Hornbaker Prince. Did I miss something there? Oh, Unit Fusion died and have units to fuse. All right. So let's go ahead and just uh, drop my units down, right? We don't actually need this tiresome climb, so we're not going to use it. Um, well, this is my mistake. I should have just kind of used that guy. Let's get rid of you. We torch this, and we blast one of those out to oblivion. Should have enough damage to kill these, right? Yeah. I can just double in now to ensure we're doing amazing. Um, we can silence. And let's just send both of these guys up. Why not? Every damage could theoretically help. All right, what did we get for imps? Some damage imps. Let's just torch out that one. We're 
I'm just going to get our rage, a rage in. Um, blast out one of those guys. Yeah, very cool game. Yeah, send you up. Take that out. Send you up with days. We get our rage. Easy peasy. Um, you know what we do? We go rage, rage, rage. Days four. Days six. Silence, rage. Yeah. All right. Throwing imp? No, double stack for 40 damage. I mean, that's actually kind of good because it's split anvil, right? I might actually take that. Play that, everything else in my hand is free because my units are also free. Sure, take a branding, right? Why would I say no? I mean, I'm going to say no to this. Skip. Well, let's get some health and money and we see a trinkets and it shows us improved firebox and jack strips let's start minusing one things Ooh, remove consume yeah last stand get it let's make the imp in the box free let's go ahead and permafrost one hidden passage so i make sure i get my two units up at the same time and let's make the unnamed tome for you. Cool. Cool, cool. Uh, improved fireboxes actually help me turn one. Not really. It's only bad if I drop both my three costers in the same turn, and that doesn't do much turn one. Magic power, no. Rules of containment, only because then if I encounter damage shield on divinity the damage shield gets eaten um, do we purge one more card could purge the pyre chomper yeah just get rid of the draw plus 10 damage let's put that into our old magic all right bring it on sap Psh, who needs sap when i have rage so much rage. Ooh, nice. You can go ahead and take that kill first round. Um, I'm just going to drop them like this. We're going to evenly spread out our rage. And we're starting our gaze train up. Rage. Rage. Days. I'm gonna send you up this round. Let's uh ping out some units. Alrighty. See now this is why we have the three. So we blast you for armor. Cool. We get this rage. We are going to silence that floor. Send you up with two days. That kills that floor. Um, send you up with four days. You're going to perish as well and blast that too. Yeah. We already still have, we still have five days there. Um, you know what? Siren Song. Let's work on this guy. There we go. No death. That does mean we don't get the last stand because I played in the wrong order like a fool. Take you out. Rage, rage, blast. I mean, now we have 15 rage there. We are pretty well set. Even though I missed that. Alright. You get a rage first. Then you get a for age. I'm gonna imp in a box. Let's get both of those out. Let's double our rage. Very cool. We don't want to take that damage or your damage. 
Right, no need to take 45 into our health. Doesn't matter though, because of all that daze, but I still don't want to do it. All right, let's get them back to even levels. Um, yeah. I think this is a winning strategy we have going. Um, rage. Ah, oh, man. Let's send you up with some rage. We'll send this floor up with some rage. We'll send you up with more rage. Bam. Very cool. Take out that unit. Let us not blast, because I want a hidden passage next turn. Right. Now we can just, what a hand. Um, drop this. Rage, rage, rage. A double my rage. Get you back a little higher. We're just going to double ascend for Sap Seraph up. I'm gonna give you three Sap. Silence. Yeah. No chance. All right. 360 shards, 360, no scope rage action. Okay, we drop Steelworker and a Steelworker. Oh, thank goodness we are just going to bounce your damage and we rage. Let's just start taking out enemy units. Right, rage floors for raging, every other floor is just to take damage. Imps, show me. Imps, nice. We blast here, we blast here. We can bam, and uh, we want to take out this guy. And now we're just needing to draw all of my rage cards, which apparently I've drawn zero. All right, rage, rage, rage. Double rage, rage. Get your health up. We're gonna work on this floor, because I don't like it. I also don't like you, so silence, please. Well, their helper into transcendent. Why? Because it's funny. Um, hmm. I mean, that's a lot of Siren Song rage, but I don't want to damage myself. So let's even up our rages here and then daze. All right. Branding right. Rage, rage. Climb. Passage, blast. Ha ha. We're doing it. We're doing it. Rage, rage. Climb. Hit you for some damage. Since the first 200 is not going to you, if we blast you, we should get a kill. Awesome. And we've avoided all of the extra damage. All right, here we go. Um, let's silence this floor we are going to siren song uh, rage the back guy Tight, double our rage it's more rage there 10 there is amazing 33 rage on the boss we just work on the next floor very cool Buy myself a turn to scale. All right, rage, 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 rage. Days the boss, take out this guy. Ah, oh, that's not gonna get a kill. So we just blast the next dude for 225. Would you get the ever drain three? That's a little sad. 
means I can't cast you. Oh wait, yes I can. Weird. Oh wait, because I silence them. Of course. It all makes sense. Anyways, rage. Rage. Ah, you're killing me, Smalls. Silence. Daze those. Who wants junk? I mean, I'm pretty sure I still got this. Oh, right. They're endless. That's always... That's pretty funny. Um, doesn't matter. You're, you're not going to help. Anyways. Up your damage. Up your damage. Up your damage. We will take out one of the guys and get them out of our hair. We will... Days you and blast a tank. Easy. Run summary. There we go. So yeah, that first run we had no offensive scaling, and this run we had a five times dupe on a zero cost ritual of battle. Um, a little bit of difference in our capabilities there. Uh, both had good defense going for it at the time, um, but this one just had the offense to you know carry us as well. And that's what you need. You need both at these extra high shards. Defense, offense, look at this, 33 minute run. We took some damage, a couple of trials, but uh, yeah, we got there quite handedly this time. Capricious Reflection is a little bit fun. Gave me that minus one so I can minus two of the rituals and be fun. Last Stand, always a good card. Split Anvil is a great artifact. I mean, we got the extra Resonant Shard for units, 50% health. Endless wasn't the best hit on a Steelworker, but whatever. And yeah, I mean, we Drop Cage, insane artifact if you have the Ascends. Days for days from all our days cards, plus Rage. We went from 0 to 100 on the Rage scale pretty quickly um, in these runs. Last run was no, none, and now we just we just blasted them to oblivion. Yeah, that was cool. That was fun. With that said, we are done with this one. So thank you for watching, and have fun.